What's the best way to ventilate a nail salon and ensure safe breathing air? First, understand this. The goal of proper ventilation is not to control odors. That's a huge misunderstanding. The real goal is to control vapors and tiny dust, regardless of how nice or how bad they smell. Just because there are no strong odors doesn't mean the air is safe to breathe. And just because something has a strong odor doesn't mean it's dangerous to breathe. In order to, to more effectively control dust and vapors, it's important to control them in three different areas or zones in your salon. Zone one, it's the most important of all. It's called your breathing zone. This is an invisible sphere about the size of a small beach ball extending out from our mouths. Every breath of air we take comes from our breathing zone. This zone is centered right between the client's hand and the technician's mouth. Of course, all three zones are important, but your breathing air comes from zone one. Now, the best way to protect zone one is to use a source capture ventilation system, which collects and removes vapors and dust from the breathing zone. The most effective systems have a movable arm with a capture hood that can be positioned in the right place to capture and remove both small dust as well as vapors. Only those with a HEPA filter or eHEPA filter can capture the tiniest dust particles, which are the most potentially harmful. Avoid inexpensive tabletop units with thinner, less effective filters. The same is true for downdraft style ventilated tables with very thin filters. These just don't provide proper protection. A good source capture system will have a thick bed of activated carbon to remove potentially vapor, harmful vapors from the air. Once again, avoid inexpensive systems with filters that are coated with tiny amounts of activated carbon. In my view, these systems are, these types of systems are just cheaply designed and they should be avo avoided. They're often marketed in a deceptive fashion to fool nail technicians into thinking they're saving money while protecting themselves. When it comes to your health, it doesn't make sense to skimp. In my opinion, these types of systems should not be used, and it's irresponsible to sell them to unsuspecting nail technicians, especially knowing they're spending their hard-earned money so they can work more safely. My advice is to invest wisely in a good quality source capture system, one that can really improve air quality and protect your health. Now, zone two, is the room you're working in, including the area around your nail table. A room air purifier unit is placed on the floor that's designed to remove dust and vapors from the general room. Never use an air purifier designed for home use. It's always best to use a device specifically made for salon use. These will provide ample airflow and can filter at least 400 cubic feet of salon air each and every minute. To be effective, they must have a special dust filter called a HEPA filter, which removes very small dust particles, and they must contain enough activated carbon to capture the vapors. A newer technology called eHEPA filters is also extremely effective and now available. Don't be fooled by ineffective systems that appear to capture <clears throat> lots of large particles. That's a foolish way to evaluate a system. These units are essentially useless if they can't capture the tiniest particles. Also, don't be fooled by inexpensive units that claim to remove vapors, and there's lots of them. Just because a system draws in a lot of air and collects a lot of large, easy-to-capture dust particles does not mean it's effective for salon use. Many such filters of systems have very thin filters that are lightly coated with activated carbon, and these are not effective. They're designed to be less expensive and sold to the unwary who don't realize that they're just wasting their money. Using too little activated carbon allows the vapors to blow through the system without being removed and just pushed back into the salon. Instead, 
purchase a unit with a thick bed of activated carbon. That's what's needed to properly remove product vapors from the air and change this filter as recommended by the manufacturer. Zone three, that's the general salon air. That's what comes in from the air ducts, the air ducts that are designed to bring fresh air into your salon. The salon's air system must be turned on and functioning properly, since this is what provides fresh breathing air. This system should never be turned off while people are in the building or in the room. And it's very important to properly maintain this system. That's best done by a professional who's trained to work on both heating and cooling systems in buildings, which are called HVAC systems. These HVAC professionals will inspect these systems and ensure that air ducts and vents are clean and air filters are properly maintained or changed when needed, which helps prevent dust from blowing into the salon. In these systems, you should use a replaceable activated carbon panel and an electrostatic dust filter. Those are two different filters. The carbon panels eventually become saturated, making them ineffective, so they have to be replaced four times per year, while the dust filter can be cleaned at the same time and only replaced on a yearly basis. These systems should be inspected and serviced once per year or more often if an unexpected issue develops. Now you can go see all the previous episodes at www.facetofacewithdougshoon.com. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time with more answers to your questions. Until then, goodbye for now.